The DAR, Genealogical Research System, the GRS, is a collection of databases of information from the records of the Daughters of the American Revolution. One of the component databases, the Ancestor Database, is a list of patriots who fought or provided other services during the American Revolution from 1775 to 1783. To search the Ancestor Database, make sure the Ancestor tab is selected at the top of the search screen. The Ancestor Database search fields include specific details about the Patriot Ancestor, fields for his last name, first name, state of service, his birth and death information, and for his spouse. Searching for Revolutionary War Patriots in the Ancestor Database is a little different than searching for information in Google or other search engines, so there are several tips to use when searching this database. Tip number one, less is more. If dates or places are entered in the birth and death fields, you'll only get results that match those dates exactly. If the database has a date or place for the ancestor that is a little bit different than what you entered, you won't see his record listed with the results. So start searching with just a name and only add information in the other search fields if you get too many results with your original search and need to narrow down the list. Tip number two. Think about different ways the name could be spelled. The same name can sometimes be spelled a lot of different ways. This was especially true further back in history when people might not have had as much training in reading or writing. In order to prevent having multiple records for the same ancestor, and to make searching and locating an ancestor easier, the Ancestor database has patriots with similar sounding surnames grouped together under a standard spelling. If you enter the surname Smith, spelled S-M-Y-T-H, you'll see that the database redirects you to the more common spelling of S-M-I-T-H. If you don't get any results using a specific spelling of a surname, Try thinking of other common ways that the name might have been spelled and try using those spellings. Tip number three, try doing a partial name search. If you're still having trouble finding a specific name or patriot ancestor, try searching for part of the name instead of the whole name. The GRS allows you to use a truncated search. If you enter the first part of a name, the search will give you results that include all of the names that start that way. This can be helpful if a name might have been spelled several different ways and you're not sure which one might be the standard spelling. Entering W-O-L-F will give you results that include the spelling and Wolf with an E, Wolfenbarger, Wolfly, and several other surnames or spellings. You can also use a truncated search in the first name field. As long as you include at least the first letter of a name, you will get search results. Tip number four use the advanced search. If the truncated search gives you too many results, you can click on the link for the advanced search. The advanced search gives you the option to search the last name field using Soundex. Soundex is a specific indexing system that groups names phonetically. So a search for one spelling of a name should bring up names that sound similar even if they are spelled differently. The advanced search also gives you the option of adding additional fields like the ancestor's military rank during the Revolutionary War or the location where he was living during the Revolutionary War. Tip number five. Remember that some patriots may not be included in the ancestor database. If you try all of these search strategies and you still don't get results, remember the limitations of the Ancestor database. The database only includes records for patriots who served in the American Revolution and who have at least one descendant who has joined the DAR through his or her record. When you search for an ancestor, you'll sometimes get a list of multiple ancestors that match the search criteria. This search results list includes a shortened form of the ancestor record, just enough information to help you identify the ancestor you're searching for. When you found the ancestor you want, click the ancestor icon to see the ancestor's full record. The ancestor's full record includes dates and places of birth and death, a brief description of the Revolutionary War service that he or she performed, a citation for the source that was used to prove the Revolutionary War service, the location where the ancestor was living during the Revolutionary War, the name of his or her spouse, and the names of any children that have been proven. While the Ancestor Database is a great resource to learn more about the Revolutionary War patriots, 
It's important to remember that all of the information on the Ancestor record is information that has been proven when a DAR member submitted an application. Some dates and places may be missing, or some of the Ancestor's children may not be included in the list on his record if no DAR member has submitted proof of that information or lineage.